very shit too. Um, question one. Question one states: um, Person travels by car from one city to another with a different, with different constant speeds between pairs of cities. She drives from she drives for thirty minutes at eight kilometers per hour, twelve minutes at hundred kilometers per hour, and forty-five minutes at forty kilometers per hour. Draw a speed time graph to represent the motion. B. Determine the average speed for the trip. C. Determine the distance between the initial and final cities along the route. Um, so we start with one. We are being taught in question A to draw a speed time graph of the motion. So we can put this as our speed, and then this as our time. Speed time graph, right? So now um, we are being taught to say um, she drives between pairs of cities. She drives for 30 minutes at 8 kilometers per hour. So now um, we have got 30 minutes and then we have got 8 kilometers per hour. These are different units um, considering kilometers per hour and then there is 30 minutes. So I have to convert that 30 minutes into hours or that hours or that hour sorry into um, 30 minutes into units of minutes. So now we're going to do the one that's easier. I think it's easier to convert 30 minutes to hours than one hour to um, 30 minutes considering that we have got the eight kilometers um in the numerator of course so now um let's go on to 30 minutes is the same as 0 0.5 so we have a uh, 0 0.5 there and then um we are being told let's put our 80 somewhere there our 80 kilometers so our speed is in kilometers per hour and then she traveled for half an hour and then for 12 minutes 12 minutes is i think let's use a calculator to convert that one yeah, um 12 divided by 60 so that's 0 0.2 so now we go to 0 0.7 uh, 0 let me put it on top 0 0.7 so um here she, she drove at 120 so from here she went all the way to 100 sorry 100 so 100 is there and then she went for 0 0.2 hours and then for 45 minutes 45 minutes she tried to convert that that's 45 divided by 60 i think it would be equal to yeah, 0 0.75 then we add it to the 0 0.7 that we already have there we're going to go to a point that's 1.45 so then she drove for 40 so she went all the way down let's put our 40 there up to 40 for 0 0.75 hours and then she spent 15 minutes eating lunch and buying gas so here she spent 15 minutes eating lunch and buying gas so she had no velocity so you can put it there so these this is our speed time graph so now um now we are being told in the second part of the question to find the average speed for the trip so how we're going to do it is we're going to find the average distance so we're going to find the distance this distance this distance and this distance the distance is just the area so here i've got a square here i've got a rectangle a rectangle and then another rectangle of course so now we are going to determine the average distance and then divide it by the average time which you know the average time is um on top of this 0 0.45 she also spent um we would say she also spent another another um another 15 15 minutes which is which is um 15 divided by 60 0 0.25 um 0 point, this was 0 0.25 um let's put it somewhere there 0 0.25 plus 1.45 we have got 1.7 so i've got a 1.7 to be somewhere there so um after this one she had zero she had zero velocity but then we're going to consider that time as well so now in the b part of the question we're going to find the average distance first and the average speed so now um the distance here will be given by um the formula for a rectangle which is l times b so the we'll start with distance one distance one will be given by 80 times the base is 0 0.5 which is going to just give us a 
body distance 2 will be given by here I've got 0 0.2 times a hundred which is just going to give us um, 20 this is in kilometers then the third distance is given by 0 0.75 and um, the distance there being multiplied by the height which is um, 40 this one's going to give us let's try to multiply um 0 0.75 multiplied by 40 this one's going to give us 30 kilometers so the average distance is the total sum of this which is 90 kilometers so now um we go to find the average speed so speed is equal to distance over time what's the time the time is 1.7 which is spent so a speed is equal to 90 90 over 1.7 and this is this is in hours this is in kilometers this is in hours um speed will be given by let's use a calculator 90 divided by 1.7 we're going to have 52.7 9 kilometers per hour and then C you are being told to determine the distance between the initial and the final cities um, in the route well that's just the average distance of course and we've already found it so in part C you can say you can come down to add all of this but the answer is just 90 because that's the average distance so that's the distance from um, the initial and the final city the initial city is where she drove for 30 minutes and the final is where she stopped to eat her lunch and buy gas. So that's all for question two. We go to that's all for question one. We go to question two.